Hey guys, what is up? Um, I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. I'm sorry for that. Um, I honestly just got really busy with um, work and I started my own business about two months ago and I actually been having a lot of clients, which has been amazing. So I've really just been kind of focusing on that. Um, but yeah, I'm back for another video. Um, I still plan on making videos, don't worry. They just might not be super frequent. They might just be like every five weeks or once a month. That's kind of the flow of kind of how I see these videos going just because I don't have time um, to make a ton like every other week. So yeah, so I just wanted to say hi. I actually had a couple of other videos that I pre-filmed but for some reason I didn't feel right about posting those just because I had been gone for like five weeks and I really wanted to address that first in the video. So, you know, I didn't leave you guys hanging. Um, but yeah, today I'm gonna be talking about a really fun topic um, and that is the topic of dreams. And more specifically, um, dreams that kind of bleed into reality, into my everyday life. So it's gonna be a bit of a story time. I'm gonna share some dreams and some kind of crazy stories. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to talk about this topic. I think dreams are super fascinating. Um, you know, they're psychologically fascinating, um, spiritually fascinating, and also, you know, dreams can also just be a result of whatever um, emotions that our subconscious is sort of pressing during the day, they kind of come out at night. So a lot of times dreams aren't even profound or significant, it's just also a way for us to process what's going on in our internal world. So, but these dreams I'm talking about specifically are ones that actually played out in my real life um, and are kind of crazy and I'm kind of nervous to share just because anytime I share kind of like spiritual or supernatural things, I kind of freak out because it is personal. Like my last video after I shared like my spiritual journey, I kind of was like, oh my God, I can't believe I just put that on the internet. <laughs> so I've been kind of hesitant to post this video, but I think the stories I'm going to tell you're going to find really interesting. So. The first dream, I'm going to kind of lead up to the less significant, or they're all kind of crazy, but the dreams that are maybe a little bit less interesting to one that was kind of crazy. So the first dream that I want to talk about was when I was actually in my first year of college. I um, had just moved to Northern California and I had this really elaborate dream with one of my kind of old best friends. I wasn't particularly close to this person anymore when I had this dream. I hadn't really talked to her for maybe, gosh, at this time, like two years. So um, we weren't in constant communication at all. Like I hadn't spoke to her in probably two years. And I had this elaborate dream one night um, in, I remember because I was staying in a dorm room and in the dream, she was reaching out to me and she was saying she was in the hospital and there was something really really wrong with her in the dream and um she seemed distressed she seemed upset and um i just remember it was like a dream where she was really sick or gonna die and um basically in the dream she was just reaching out to me for help so i have this dream and i wake up the next morning and i'm like that was crazy. I haven't thought about this person in a while. I like, I hope she's okay. And then literally later the day, in the day, the next day, after I'd already had this dream, she calls me out of the blue, hadn't heard from her in years, and says, hey, um, I'm not doing well. Um, I was actually just in the hospital. Um, I'm feeling, you know, all of these things, fearful, sick. I could really just um, use prayer. Can you pray for me? So I was like, yeah, of course. And of course what's going through my mind is my mind is just blown because I had just had this dream about this situation the night before. So I obviously pray for her and we talk a little bit and then that was the end of that. But it was just crazy because it was an example of where a dream actually kind of, an actual dream moves into actual, your actual day life. 
So, and I've had these throughout my life and that's why I'm someone who does believe, you know, in God or um, that there's more to play in our world than just what we physically see. You know, I, that dream is crazy, right? Like I, there's no way that I could have had that dream without some other supernatural thing going on because this person needed help and that was the point of the dream. They needed encouraging words, they needed someone to pray for them and they were going through a hard time. So that was something that I just always remember being like, wow, that was so cool, God, like that she would give me that dream. So that's one story of a dream that sort of bleeds into a reality. Um, another dream that probably is the craziest that stands out to me. Um, this was a few years later. I was living with roommates and I had this elaborate dream one night that somebody, someone's husband in my high school had died. And the dream wasn't super clear at all. It was really choppy. There was just like bits and pieces of it. But basically in the dream, we were attending um, this person's funeral. And you know when you have dreams sometimes and you kind of wake up and they're pretty fuzzy and you kind of forget about them? Like you have bits and pieces, but you kind of just brush it off, right? Like I was like, oh, that was odd. Like didn't think much of it. Um, later that morning, I went onto Facebook and a girl that I knew in high school, her husband had died. And she made a post and everybody was like freaking out. And I was completely shocked because in the dream the night before, I had a dream where someone's uh, in my high school's husband died. And so that just completely blew my mind. I obviously um, didn't reach out to this person because it's a very, very sensitive thing and I in no way wanted to upset this person and it didn't really, that I didn't feel like the point of the dream was to share with her. I just felt like it was to pray for this person because obviously they had gone through a terrible trauma and so yeah, I just felt for this person. Um, I don't even want to say who this person is out of respect but I... I was just completely blown away that I, I had had that had that happen in my dream, and uh, you know, just kind of in my own way, prayed for her and like felt for her, obviously because she had just gone through something so traumatic. Um, so that again was a dream that bled into reality, a sort of a predictive dream. Um, and I do believe sometimes God gives us dreams of warning gives us dreams to prepare us for something. My dreams tend to be about other people so that I can pray for them. Usually if they're going through something really hard, it's kind of just a way for me to, you know, pray for them when they're going through a hard time. And, and a lot of times I don't tell, I tell people these dreams because it's not necessarily the point of it. But sometimes I do because it provides people comfort, right? To know that you know, God cares. And I believe that's really the only reason why I have had these dreams. Um, so the last dream I'm gonna share, I've had more, but I think these are the ones that at least stand out in my mind. Um, again, living with roommates, this was a few years later after the last dream I just shared. And um, this one was really cool because it actually felt like a dream for me, you know, rather than other people. But in the dream, um, I actually felt my roommate in the dream come into my room and was just like, it, but it was like her spirit. It wasn't like her. It was like, it was more like her spirit. And she came into the room and was just there. It felt like she was there for like support. Um, she didn't really say anything, but I was like so confused because the dream felt real. So I woke up from the dream and I was like, hey, did you come to my roommate, the one that I saw in my dream? I was like, hey, did you come into my room this morning? Because I swear you were there in my room and I felt your presence and I felt your spirit. And so I just wanted to make sure that she didn't actually come in my room and then I just thought I was dreaming it. But anyways, I 
talked with her and she goes, no, I didn't come into your room this morning. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she goes, and I, I told her around what time I had this dream because it was like right in the early, early morning before I woke up. And she goes, that's crazy because this morning I woke up and felt led to pray for you. And this was the same time we, we talked about it and it ended up being around the same time I had this dream, I woke up from it and she had felt like she was supposed to pray for me. So she was actually in her room praying for me. And as she was praying for me, I actually sensed her and sensed her spirit and then dreamed about it. <laughs> so again, just crazy, right? Um, I just wanted to share these dreams because I think to me it provides comfort, right? I couldn't have made this up. Um, I, you know, I couldn't have predicted these things happening in my dreams and then they happened, right? So I don't know if there's some of you out there that maybe question a higher power or God, maybe hearing these dreams will make you think twice about it and make you go, huh, that's interesting. Or maybe not. Maybe there's some way for you to sort of rationalize it or come up with some, you know, brain theory of why, but that doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share these fun dreams with you guys. Um, I would love to hear below if you've had dreams like this, um, where your dreams actually start to bleed into reality and actually play out in your real life. Um, I know, you know, this one's, you know, you could probably question this one, but I've also had friends say like, they'll dream about like a car accident or something and then the next day that will happen or they'll, or they'll almost get in a car accident and it was almost like a warning. So yeah, I just find these type of dreams really interesting and um, yeah, I'd love to have you guys share below your thoughts, maybe some cool dreams you guys could share. And yeah, let me know if you guys want me to do, I don't know, I could do um, more videos on dreams specifically because I find them pretty fascinating. Um, I've had some pretty crazy dreams that if you want me to just share dreams in general, they aren't necessarily ones that actually like bleed into my everyday life, but ones that are just kind of fascinating. Let me know. I could totally do like a little bit of a dream series and kind of share some crazy ones and, um, yeah. So that's all I wanted to share today in this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.